So, the United States men's national volleyball team did not have any matches in the FIVB World League this weekend. Instead, they're getting ready to head to Rio later on this week for the World League Finals. Well, since they weren't playing this weekend, the big news coming out of the team this week is the signing of Tomasz Jeski to Assesso Rosovia in Czechow, Poland. There are a number of reasons why this is a significant and a unique signing. Now you probably know Thomas Jeske's resume. He was the MIVA Freshman of the Year. He was two times named the MIVA Player of the Year. He was a two-time AVCA National All-American. And he was the AVCA National Player of the Year. He did all of this while winning two national championships with the Loyola University of Chicago. What makes this situation unique is that he decided to forego his senior year to ply his trade overseas and get ready for the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio. This is not a very common practice with American volleyball players. Matt Anderson did it back in 2008 after winning a national championship with Penn State. And Clay Stanley did it back in 2001 when he decided to skip his senior year at the University of Hawaii. One difference between Jeske and these two guys I mentioned and other recent players of the year is the high profile club that Jeske's going to. Now when Clay Stanley came out, he went to PAOK Thessaloniki in Greece. Now Greece was one of the best leagues in the world at the time, but this was not necessarily a top team. It took the 2008 Olympic MVP three seasons for his club to become a contender, and it wasn't until his fourth season when he was playing with Araklis Thessaloniki for his team to play in the Champions League. Matt Anderson played in Korea right out of college. The Korean League um, is known for paying large salaries to the one foreign player they're allowed to have on their roster, but it's not the top league in the world or even in Asia. Guys usually go to Asia after they've established themselves in Europe for large paydays. Now, Taylor Crabb, a National Player of the Year from Long Beach State, went to a struggling team in France and had a tough time getting on the court his rookie year. Murphy Troy left USC and went to a struggling team in Italy, though his team did make the playoffs both years he was there. Kavika Shoji went to Finland from Stanford, and Jonathan Winder went to France. With the exception of Anderson and Troy, these were all one-year deals. Taylor Sander went to Verona from it or in Italy. Now, it was a one-year deal, and he was publicized as being the driving force to come in and turn their club in a successful direction. He did that and led them to their best finish ever in the Italian Superliga, which used to be known as the Italian Serie A1. And they earned a place in the CEV Challenge Cup for the first time in team history. But as I said earlier, this was still just a one-year deal. And a lot of this publicity was coming after... Um, his successful run in the FIVB World League the previous summer. Now Jeske is going to one of the best clubs in one of the best leagues in the world. They have won three of the, la of the last four Polish Plusliga championships and won the silver medal in the CEV Champions League. It was the first time in recent history they have turned the corner and won a medal in the Champions League. They had kind of been known for having a tough time getting past the top Italian and Russian teams. This year wasn't much of an exception, though they did have the Berlin Recycling Volleys in their group. They did kind of have an easy run until they ran into Lokomotiv Novosibirsk of Russia. They were able to split matches with them, but got by since they lost in five sets. And frankly, Lokomotiv was having a tough year in Russia and didn't even qualify for the Champions League next year. Still, it was quite a successful um, run for Rosovia. After this season, though, they did see an exodus of players who attacked from the outside. Lotman, Busek, Konarski, and Ivovich all left the club. They're solid players who found themselves getting caught up in the vast Rosovia bench, and they went to teams where they will see the court more regularly. Rosovia responded by signing Kurek, Jeski, Slivka, I can't really pronounce his name, he's a 20-year-old outside hitter from Polytechnic, and the French international Julian Leniel. Now with Pinchev and Akram still with the club, that is a potential of six outside hitters. That is a much larger arsenal than any other European club, maybe except for Zsakša in Poland. 
They have decided to use Kurek on the right side after Antigua um, started using him there for the Polish national team. But they already have um, Shops, who was named the CEV Player of the Year on July 2nd. The fact they signed Jeski to a three-year deal is pretty significant, knowing the depth they have at that position. They also signed him when he hasn't done much internationally yet. Last year, Taylor Sander was tearing up the World League on his way to becoming the MVP. This year, Jeski has only played in half of the World League matches. He's only started in one match, and that was that last match against Poland in which the U.S. only played Sander and Shoji from their normal starting lineup. Most of the time, he has been used as a sub in one or two of the sets. This is not to say I don't think he's good enough to play. That's not the case at all. I do think he is. It just makes it that much more remarkable that such a big club is making such a big commitment to someone they have seen so little of. This isn't like soccer where clubs can buy out contracts no matter how long um, they have left on their current deal. If he's signed there for three years, he's probably going to be there for three years. Now, such a top club who um, is used to winning trophies and is used to playing in the top European competitions every year, this is a huge deal. If you're an American volleyball fan, you should be excited for Tomasz Jeski. If you're a fan of Rosovia, you should be excited in getting such a young guy who has such a um, promising prowess in serve-receive and attacks very strongly. I'm looking forward to it. You should be looking forward to it, too. I hope he has quite a big rivalry going back with Murphy Troy, uh, who plays for Lotus Truffle Gdansk, and who was a Polish Plus Liga finalist this last year. And they met each other in the finals of the Polish Cup. So, stay tuned for the rest of this year's World League, the World Cup, and be excited when Tomaszewski suits up in the red and white of a Sesko Rosowia.